Hello my lovelies, welcome to Erica's Magical Projects. I'm Erica and each week I'm trying to bring a little bit more magic into my life using various projects. This week I'll be exploring a poncho project. This beautiful yarn I'm going to make into a poncho. Now a few weeks ago I made a poncho out of 100% wool and it was all hand spun and it had art yarn on it and it was a very exclusive project for a very beautiful and amazing artist. But this time round I want to make them quick and simple and dirty and cheap. I'm going to make a poncho out of this nice yarn. As you can see it's got a bit of a self stripe to it and I think that's really going to come through in the poncho pattern. I'm not going to have to change yarns. I'm going to make the whole thing from this yarn and to that end I've bought 300 grams and I think that'll do it. The wool poncho had a kilogram and a half of wool in it so this creation will be a very different thing from the one I made before and that's why I want to make it because I really like exploring what you can do with different yarns with the same patterns. It's going to have a different size hook, a different size yarn and look completely different but follow the same pattern. Let's go and have a look at that pattern right now. This is where I get all of my wonderful patterns from, Ravelry. I love browsing this site and looking for crochet inspiration. There are far more patterns here than I will ever make. So many patterns, so little time. So here it is, the Lacy Day Poncho I've been dying to make for some time. One of the good things about Ravelry is that you can see how other people's projects turned out. And if they all look fairly nice, it's a good sign the pattern is written well. Yes, this looks really nice and it gives me an idea of what to expect from the pattern. This is a free pattern published by Miju Crochet. I will link the site below. And it's available in many different languages. As you can see, it's a pretty comprehensive guide to the pattern. Including close-ups of some places where you could get stuck. Really good for free, huh? Oh, it's getting chilly. It's definitely time for me to curl up in my bed with a nice big crochet project. Now the nice thing about a big crochet project like this one that grows and grows and grows is that after a little while it starts spreading over your lap and making your lap nice and warm and as the weather gets colder your lap gets warmer. I've got my cocoa and I've got a bag of crochet things and I'm gonna sit in bed and see what I can make. I've chosen a hook, a 4.5 millimeter hook and DK Yarn, let's see if these things and this pattern play nicely together. this and see how much I can get done before the light goes. The light went and then it was the next day and now I'm camping. So look how much I got done in an evening. I thought that was quite good actually really. Look at that, about 13 rows. It looks like it's about a third of the way on the pattern. Of course with the poncho all the actual work is on the last couple of stitches. Now where am I? You might be wondering. I'm out and about and the sun is beating down and I still have my summer hat on because despite it being September it is still definitely summer. Look at the beautiful sky. Yes that is where I am. One of the most idyllic camping spots in Cornwall. I'm saying goodbye to the summer with my lovely friends by the sea and we're going to do a little celebration for the autumn equinox. Oh, I'm so sad to say goodbye to the summer, I'm so sad. The seasons are so hard on some people and I'm one of them. Every year my skin starts crumbling away, I suffer from eczema and without the rich vitamin D of the sun, without the sun's beautiful rays, I literally crumble. So I bought my crochet project with me, absolutely the most perfect thing to have with me on a weekend away. 
because if the weather is beautiful I can sit outside and soak up the sun's rays and if the weather is terrible I can go and sit in my tent. But I'm not really planning on getting that much done because I want to get in the sea for one final last time. I had a little dip in the sea, just a little one, it's a bit cold still. Oh, it's so cold, it's definitely turned, oh, it's definitely autumn. Good morning campers, it's Sunday morning, the very last day of the weekend, I will show you that. Although I really planned to do quite a lot on this, I only did that much, only really a couple of rows, and because I did it around the fire, now I've got to give it a really good wash, because now it all stinks of like bonfire smoke, which is fine for me and anybody who's a hippie, but you know, if somebody wants to buy it, I need to give it a good wash, so it's like, it smells fresh and nice. I'm going to finish the rest of that poncho back at the house. <laughs> I've made loads, look at this. I'm on row 25 now, so I think I've got about five rows left until the whole thing's finished. It's not going to be terribly big. Now I'm sitting in my garden, which means there's crows, there's traffic, there's planes, there's all kinds of crazy noises you're going to hear around me. You just have to get past that. So I'm on row 25, and as you can see, it's taking shape. I really, really love this pattern. This pattern is super simple. If you can do all of these stitches, then you can do this pattern. It's a very clever mix of some very simple stitches. Each one of the rows is different, but very simple. It looks like there's a lace pattern here. Look at that, it looks lacy, but really it's just simple stitches. And these little lacy holes will trap the air and actually make the poncho quite a warm and light and lacy garment. And I guess that's why it's called a lacy day poncho. It's lacy and you can wear it in the day. <laughs> I would recommend this pattern and most of the patterns on Me Do Crochet to any beginner crocheter. The stitches are well thought out, the items are well constructed, the patterns are well written. They've got detailed photos, they have a stitch count at the end of every row. These are the small details that I really, really do appreciate. It makes a beginner feel a lot more comfortable. Oh, that's the sound of pigeons in my garden. <laughs> A beginner could really tackle this poncho with a great deal of confidence. Oh, yes, it's finished. Look at that. It's absolutely gorgeous, don't you think? lacy and frilly i put a little fringe on the bottom i would say this is probably about a small to medium adult size and this is going to go on my store for next year i think i love this pattern so much i went ahead and made two more ponchos these ones i used a slightly smaller hook and they've come out as a small adult or large child size put a little flower on the front of this one and tassels i love a tassel and then this one a super pink super girly one with a big pink flower and some more little pink tassels. So there we have three Lazy Day ponchos. Well, thank you so much for joining me this week while I've been exploring this poncho pattern a little bit more. I'm going to make one more poncho in this pattern and then I'm going to hand it on to somebody else. Well, join me next week because I'll be celebrating Maybon, the autumnal equinox, and I'll be adding another segment to my Wheel of the Year. Ah, oh, here we are. Da -da -da -da. I would really like you to join me for that. But until then, remember, everything handmade is magical. <laughs>